let's understand what is network access control and we can understand with the help of one story during the COVID, when company has announced okay let's work from home so people worked from home for at least one year or one and a half year and during that time what happened is all the company has decided to initiate the vaccination for all the employees so when employee get the vaccination they get a certificate that yes this person is vaccinated Next day what happened, one day what happened, when company has changed their mood and they decided let's back to office. But they sent one email to everyone, hey guys, we thrilled to announce that after five months of this period of after one year of this locking period, we have happy to announce that okay, we are resuming work from office. But there is a one criteria, whoever basically come to the office, they have to carry their vaccination certificate. We have a security guard who is standing on the main gate who will check all your vaccination certificate. If you have a vaccination certificate, then you are allowed to enter into the office. Otherwise, you will work in our restricted zones. So here what happened, with the help of this control, the security guard will ensure who is vaccinated and who is not vaccinated. And by that, we can also create a secure culture in the organization. Because if someone is not vaccinated, he has a COVID, he can spread virus to other systems or other people. Same like in the organization, we create, we have a network access protection or network access control. Every day we have employees, we have a guest users, we have a mobile workforce, they carry their devices to connect with the enterprise network. Now we don't know which device basically have which kind of a configuration. So company decide to create one cyber hygiene, which is called as a company baseline for any laptop or any desktop. So any laptop trying to connect to the organization, they have to meet a minimum cyber benchmark. If the system basically meet the benchmark, then only they get the IP and they can able to access the enterprise network. If not, they can basically move to the restricted network. So by the NAC solution, we can able to identify which is an authorized device and which is an unauthorized device. With the help of NAC solution, we can identify which system can meet their benchmark or which system doesn't meet the benchmark. So in a dynamic environment, this solution basically play a very important role. Do let me know how do you find this video and share your beautiful or amazing feedback or negative feedback in a comment section which helped me to improve my video further better thank you so much